It's bright outside. Summertime here in Wisconsin. The grass is growing and green as ever. The trees too. It's great. We have long winters here. Some of the longest and coldest in America. I remember a few years back we got that polar vortex. Yes. Uh, you walk outside, you couldn't take a piss. It'd freeze you to the ground. I tell you, we worked a farm in that polar vortex, mind you. It's not something I wouldn't do again. I enjoy the farm life. But lately, financial reasons have brought us further into town. Me, especially. So I've taken to the internet to calm my nerves, quench my thirst for curiosity, and perhaps educate myself on the goings-ons of the world around me. And when I had first started this adventure, it was on Tumblr. Mm, yes, I know what you're thinking. Oh, the feminist agenda, the gender equality shit, the, uh... We'll get to those, the, the racism and the, and the everything. That's not what I found when I joined there. I went into the gaming fandoms of the Far Cry community, and there I stayed for a number of years. And there I shall return as Far Cry 5 drew us nearer. Because I have been waiting and waiting for Far Cry 5 since Far Cry 3 when I started. I have Far Cry 1. I still haven't played Far Cry 2. I, I don't... I, I don't... I can't... I don't have the game. <laughs> and I saw the Far Cry movie. Not the vast experience on YouTube, but the actual Far Cry movie based off the first game. It's just as terrible. The acting is atrocious, but it's hilarious as fuck. It's one of those so bad it's good movies. Now I have to walk around because when I'm on my phone talking, I, I have to pace. It's a tick. That's a video for another day. That's why the, it's close to my face, so you don't catch all the background. You're going to get dizzy. But let's get back to internet shit. It wasn't until about a year into it that I started to notice the uh, fidgets and ticks and little dibble-dabbles of the straight white male conundrum. And I just kept to myself about it. I was like... Mm. Yeah, these people are crazy. They don't know what they're talking about. They're just a bunch of dumb kids. Ain't nobody gonna take them seriously with their racism and their sexism. Ain't no one gonna care. They're just a bunch of dumb kids. They'll grow up out of it. Mm. A burrito truck! For the love of fucking Christ, two white chicks make some fucking Mexican food, and all of a sudden it's fucking cultural appropriation. Does that mean I can't make my Mexican husband some fucking Mexican food? Huh? Or my half-Mexican child can't eat his fucking tacos? Or is it only appropriation because they are white? And they are selling it. Because newsflash, Mexicans sell fucking cheeseburgers. They make them, they sell them. If you want true fucking equality, you either shut the fuck up about who's doing what, or you bitch about everybody. I'm sick of it. I'm of a mixed variety myself. I'm what's known as a Heinz 47 or 57 or whatever. I got all that European uh, immigrant. European immigrant ancestry mixed in with the native ancestry of America. And it's all in my nose. Look at this thing. It's fucking huge. And my squinty eyeballs. I gotta see you. You gotta see my eyes. I gotta see you. I'm ready to quit this world. If I didn't have a family, I'd have jumped off a cliff a long time ago. I swear they're the only ones keeping me sane these days. Why would I want to live in a world where everything is politicized 
in this authoritarian narrative where every white person's a fucking Nazi. You know, I don't recall anyone ever saying every black guy was a thug. I don't, I don't recall that happening. Or that every Jew was stingy. <coughs> I swear. And I don't even get the lazy Mexican stereotype because I never once met a lazy Mexican in my life. At least not one that was brought up here in America where you are taught to be lazy. Because that's what's wrong with these kids these days. They're fucking lazy. They're lazy. They are entitled. And they don't deserve all this fucking attention. A politicizing a burrito truck, taco truck, whatever. Fucking, it's not even Mexican food, whatever. Fuck my life. Fuck everything. Future videos will be more professional, but this is an angry rant I've been sitting on all night. And I, I had, I had to bitch. I had to bitch, because it's one of the. I mean, I've heard many stupid things, but this is one of the stupidest. Like, they actually got the bitches shut down. I'm like, you're fucking stupid. It's food. Alright? We... Cultural assimilation is only a part of the human evolution. We no longer have the cultures we had a thousand fucking years ago. Do you know why? We evolved as a species, a society, mixed cultures, mixed languages. You go back in time, French people won't be speaking the same French you hear now. English people, you won't even be able to tell it's fucking English. It's English, but it ain't our modern English. And our modern cultures are not going to live on forever either. Like those before us, they will die off and we will get new ones. By cultural integration, everything will become different. You just won't notice it happening. Because it happens over hundreds of years, or even a dozen, man. But you ain't gonna notice it. I grew up with taco stands, you know. Mexicans in America were just the thing. They're there. That's why we speak Spanish here and not French anymore. I remember all the subtitles used to have French, and now they're in Spanish. And that's just the way it's going to go, because that's human evolution, yo. Exchanging and developing ideas with one another and furthering our cause... And our purpose as a species in this universe, we have the power, the capability, the self-awareness to get us beyond the stars. But dumbasses here on planet Earth want to waste all that talking about their fucking microaggressions. Man, go become an astronaut or something. Go find a star. Go find somewhere that we can go. We're killing our planet, probably. I don't know if we can fix that, if we are. Can we go to another planet? Oh, but that's colonization. That's evil. So you want us to die out. You want our species to die out. We are a young species. And this is a young planet. And we can only go forward into the future, which is present. We can only move forward. We can only do that which betters our species, our society, our humanity. We are the most self-aware thing that we know of, and that is how we are able to accomplish everything that we have. And it's people that is bitch right in this article that are holding us back from our true potential. We can go places. We can get places. But now with these asshats holding us back, it's fucking nuts. I mean, I'm a starving writer. 
I do my best, but I'm a perfectionist, and I hate that I can't get it right. But what I have, I want more than anything to contribute to society through entertainment purposes. We aren't going to get anywhere by bitching at each other over stupid shit. We are human. We have the capacity to move forward. To know what we are and where we can go. For the love of fucking all that is green and blue and gray on this planet. Find a star, man. Find, find, find a star and just fucking reach for it, man. Because it ain't gonna be in the goddamn dirt where you're sticking your head. Shoot for the stars, yo. Always the stars. I'm Casual Cali. Keeping it casual. Peace.